Hi, I'm John Park, and today we're going to upcycle this shopping cart into a one-of-a-kind chair. Contrary to popular opinion, you can't just take these from the grocery store parking lot. But you can call stores to see if they've got any old ones they're ready to get rid of or would like to sell, or even check with a recycling facility to get one. Now, you're also going to need some common tools. C-clamps, some angle iron in various sizes, some bolt cutters, a file, a set of sockets and wrenches, and my favorite, an angle grinder. The first step is to design our shopping cart chair. Now, you can go online for inspiration. There's a lot of great designs out there. I like this one with a rounded seat. Here's a great upholstery job. This one's nicely painted. And here's some his and hers chairs with some great armrests on them. So I've gotten some good ideas for the design. It's time to get to work. I'll be cutting and bending wire to form the design. I'll bring this part around and the side down to make an armrest. Remove this front section and bend the bottom down for the seat. And I'll remove this folding chair altogether. I'm using colored tape to lay out the plan for cuts and bends on the shopping cart. Red tape is where I'm going to cut, so I'm removing this whole section here. And yellow is where I'm going to bend. I'll fold this top down to create the top of the armrest and bring the sides around. Also, I've indicated a couple of these heavier gauge wires that I'll cut. And that's going to make it easier to bend. So now it's time to start cutting. When I first started cutting this, I was chasing the cart all around the shop. So here's what I did. I clamped it down to some angle iron. Now it's stable. OK, I've got my bolt cutters and safety glasses. And now I'm ready to cut. The idea here is to keep the cuts close to the wires so that you reduce the number of sharp edges. And sometimes this can take a little bit of effort to cut. OK, there's one last bit holding this front section on. Great. OK, now I've got some pretty sharp edges here, so I'm going to smooth those down with an angle grinder. When you're grinding, it's a good idea to use some hearing protection. All right, I've smoothed all the edges off, and now I've flipped up the cart so I can put in my first bend. This one's for the seat. So to bend this down, I've taken a couple of pieces of angle iron and clamped them to the cart right where the yellow line is. This is going to be the fulcrum of the bend. Great. Now, you can only do this once, because once you've bent it, this becomes work-hardened steel. If you try unbending it, it might break. I grabbed some gloves to make this a little easier, and now I've clamped for the next bend. This is the front of the armrest. OK, that didn't bend where I thought it was going to. I thought it would go right here where the fulcrum is. Instead, it bent all the way back here. Uh, now, I'm going to have to run with this. And I kind of like the curvature that I'm getting in here, so I have an idea. Here's my solution. I've clamped a piece of pipe under here to act as a round form to bend the metal on. And I've also taken my angle iron and flipped it vertically so this will support this whole side here. Hopefully, that won't bend. Hey, that's great. I love the way that worked out. It's a really nice curve. Now, I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now I'm ready to make the top of my armrest. So I've lined up the angle iron with this yellow line here. And I've also set this carefully so that it won't bump into this turn. Here I go. Looks great. OK, this is really starting to take shape. I've got a few things left to do. I want to remove this child seat. And I'm also going to take off these front wheels. Now, these are just bolted on, so I'm going to remove them with a socket wrench. OK, 
The rear wheels are a bit of a challenge because the bracket is welded to the frame, so I'm going to need to cut those off. I'm going to use a bevel gauge and make a little mark for that cut. Now that I've cut off the wheel brackets, I'm going to use a couple of these long bolts for feet. I'm going to set these in the tube in the back and whack them in with a mallet so they don't drop out. Okay, now I'm ready to flip the chair over and take a look. It's beautiful. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind chair. At this point, I'd probably go in and smooth out some more of the edges and clean it up some. But before I do that, I have one more modification in mind. This is my off-road shopping cart. You can see I've connected wheels to the front and back, and I've got a powerful DC motor system hooked up to a battery here. Now, each motor has its shaft connected to the front wheel with a chain drive system. And this is skid steering, just like on a tank. So when I flip this switch, I get power to this side's front wheel. I think it's time to take this out for a test drive. All right, I'm ready to hit the fairway. I'm John Park. I'll see you next time on the Maker Workshop. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad, 